All right, so for the screencast video, I'm going to be going over some of the things here um, in Photoshop review that need some further explanation on how to do some of these things. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the most basic, which is the 5x7 or 7x5 300 transparent. I'll do a seven by five. Make sure you're on inches, of course. RGB eight bit. You can leave all that three hundred transparent. Create. I have something else here. Oh, that's from Digital Design One. I don't know if you remember doing that. So here is the canvas. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to start with the most basic thing: the gradient. Gradient tool is number five, so you need to make a gradient. Press G for gradient. And again, you guys can look up how to use these tools and uh, watch YouTube tutorials um, and how to make a gradient. Um, you'd find about 400 tutorials. So if you forget how to do that, please watch a tutorial on YouTube. That's a really ugly color. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use this one. But I'm going to change this color to that. Cool. Awesome. All right. So I'm not going to get credit for it if I just leave it because sorry. There we go. Because I didn't title the layer on the assignment. It tells you that you need to title the layer according to the requirement. <clears throat> so it says this here. Layers that are not titled according to their requirements will be, not be counted. For example, if you do the artistic filter, but you forget to title it. So I need to just simply double click and title this gradient. I'm going to make my thumbnails bigger so it's easier to see. There we go, gradient. I'm going to choose a few more of these options in here. What else can I do that's really easy? A selection using the polygonal lasso tool. Remember that when you're going to the internet and looking up picture, you need to click on tools, size, large, so that Google images will load only the high resolution <laughs> images. Right click. Now don't save it from here, okay? You have to click on the image and then do right click save. No, I don't know what I just hit. Right click save image as. You can save it to your downloads temporarily if you want. You probably want to clear those at some point. Well, I have other stuff on here that I don't want. There we go. All right, opening up this frog. Is that it? What the heck is that? Is that not a good image to use? And it's not. I'm so glad that happened. You see what happened when I tried to open that up? What's this? That You can't use that. What is? Oh, you can. Gosh, I just learned something new. <clears throat> Literally right now. This is a PNG underscore DL equals one file. I don't know what that is. And I'm not even getting a preview. But it somehow it just opened up, so I guess I guess it worked fine. Never mind. So a polygon lasso tool. It's that middle tool out of the lassos. That's the one where you want to zoom in and go around the whole edge, nice and slow. It's a review of the polygon lasso tool. Hold on your space bar, move around, zoom in, backspace if you make mistakes. Now let's pretend, and then I would take out piece by piece. Deselect. Let's pretend I'm making a nice cutout. Okay, this is not a nice cutout, what I'm about to do. Let's pretend that's a nice cutout. This is a really bad cutout of this frog. We're pretending that it's a beautiful selection. Ooh, 
bad. I would imagine if you chose the polygonal lasso tool to cut this out, you're going to be cutting out for a while. Sometimes selections take a really long time. It depends on how complex your background is. This one, it's a pretty complex background. But I freed him up. Again, we'll pretend that's a beautiful one. And I'll move it over here. Control T. that and I have to title this <coughs> you can just call it PL or polygonal lasso or P lasso <laughs> press enter now I'm getting credit for that that's good what is this blending modes okay if you guys remember from digital design one blending modes mix layers so why don't I need five of them? You can combine requirements. So I can do a blending mode on the frog. We'll do screen. And I can retitle this polygonal lasso backslash blend blend one. But so now your teacher, me, when I'm looking at your assignment, I can see, oh, that's the first blending mode. They have, you know, four more to go, but that's cool. Um, what else here? The pen tool. Yeah, I think I'll review that really quick. I'm going to choose something really easy on the Internet to cut out. Pair images, tools, size, large. Save image as. Oh, look, it's a JPEG. That's nice. Take the lock off by clicking the lock. Press F. P is the hotkey for the pen tool. Immediately, when you're on the pen tool, you want to make sure up here, if you're using the pen tool to make a selection, all right, the pen tool is used to make a lot of things, including shapes, but if you're using it to cut out the background and make a selection, it needs to be on path right here. Mine says path. Yours might say shape. Choose path. All right, now watch. You might have only done this once or twice in Digital Design 1, so you've probably forgotten. You don't have to zoom in too far for this. You're going to click once and then skip a whole area. Click and pull out your curve let go and then you have to alt click that middle square click 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 i'm going to skip from here well actually i'll click right there i'm going to skip from here all the way down to here click and pull the curve so it matches the edge of the pair when you're satisfied, let go, and Alt-click the middle square. I'm going to skip from here all the way to here. Click Pull. Let go. Alt-click. Skip from here to here. Click Pull. Alt-click. Click, pull, alt, click, click, pull. Click, pull, and I'm going to zoom in because it's a little dicey in here. 
these ones I'm not going to click pull because they're kind of straight lines. Here I will do a click pull. When I say pull, I mean you're pulling out a, a curved edge. And go back to where you started, click pull. And now I've got the whole thing selected, but I don't have my marching ants. It doesn't look like a selection, so you have to right click, create, or sorry, make selection. And then press OK. Well, that's not what I wanted. Undo that with Control Z. Right click. Where is it? No, no, no. Select. Uh, where's inverse? Yeah, inverse right there. Boom. You select that as selection using the pen tool. If you Google how to select using the pen tool in YouTube, you're going to come up with, you're going to get a lot of confusing stuff on YouTube. Most people on YouTube that do tutorials really are not good at using the pen tool. I'm not saying that I'm awesome at it, but that method that I just showed you is a pretty simple method. If you need help, just raise your hand. Grab this, drag it over, and uh-oh, see that? I don't want that. I want it on normal. Pen. Tool. But you know what? I'm going to hit backsplash blend 2 because I'm going to do another blending mode. I'm going to do... Yeah, why not? Pull P, shrink this down, put it in his mouth. Pen tool slash blend, blend two. So far, I've knocked out two of the five. Um, I want to look through this, and I just want to make sure. This is going to be kind of a long video. I apologize, but at least I'll have all the stuff there that you know how to use. <clears throat> um, object selection tool. Just use it. Just type in how to... <coughs> how to use object selection tool Photoshop and get a tutorial. They're, it's really easy. Gradient tool, also use YouTube. It's pretty easy. Just type in how, do you, how to make a gradient in Photoshop. A custom shape with a layer style. Basically, that is this. You got your shapes, hotkey U. Custom shape is at the bottom. Where are the custom shapes? They're up here. Click. Flowers. How about just click this button and then do large thumbnail, click. Wow, oh, that's, that's an update. Oh, okay. Well, oh, that's actually kind of nice. They've added a lot of shapes. Boats. Okay, wild animals, leaf trees. Oh, they took a lot of the custom shapes out. Maybe there's more. I bet there's more somewhere. All right, cool. I'm going to add in this palm tree. All right, it brings it in as a shape layer to change the color. I can go over here. Remember, you guys had an assignment called the shape tool assignment in um, Digital Design 1. If you double click this thumbnail, you can change the color, you can add gradients to your shapes, you can do all kinds of things. Why didn't it work? Oh, there we go. Alright, so that's a custom shape. The layer style part of the requirement is this. Hover your cursor over here on the right side of the layer and double click. And you get this palette called the layer style palette. And that's where you put in your drop shadows. You can play around with this, and that's where you put in your bevels and your, your you know, your pattern overlays and, or, or texture. You can add texture to it. Okay. So there's lots of different things you can do. So that, and then you have to title it. Don't leave it Palm Trees 1. Custom Shape. You just leave a custom shape is fine. All right. Anything else? Text tutorial. We already went over that. You can use this link here. You can
can try one of these or you can just Google cool text tutorial Adobe Photoshop and follow on. Remember the text tutorial you're probably going to have to do on a separate canvas and then drag everything over to your assignment canvas. All right, three different Photoshop brushes downloaded from this website called Brush Easy. B R U Brush Easy E E Z Z Y E E Z Y dot com. It's incorrect spelling of easy. All right, so I want to find brushes that look like fish. I don't know why. Has a green tag and it says premium. It's a paid website. Just move on. All right, these sharks look pretty cool. Click. Free download. Four, three, two, one. It's going to go to your downloads on your computer. Click it. It's a zip file. You have to unzip it. So you have to click extract and then extract all and then extract. Now it's extracted to your computer. A brush is an ABR file. It's dot ABR. So it's actually in there. If I double click this, I want to see what, if it opens up right into Photoshop. Oh, Adobe Photoshop. Okay. Yes, it is. So it's supposed to be in Photoshop. Well, to access that, you have to be on the brush tool. So the hotkey is B for brush. It's that first one. Not the first drop down here, but the second drop down arrow. And scroll all the way to the bottom. Yes, it's right there. It added automatically the entire folder. There's a whole bunch in there. So click. Oh, I have to make a new layer. Uh, layer. By the way, remember I did hit that plus button right there. Brush one. Click. There it is. Is that supposed to be an eel? You can even use another blending mode if you want and title that brush one backslash blend three. I think it's the one I'm on. I'm going to close this pair out because I'm done. I don't need to save it. Let's do one more, brusheasy.com. Thank you for your patience during this video. I know it's long, but at least we'll have everything. We won't have to look up everything on YouTube. Um, Somebody shout out something for me to look up. Orange? Orange. 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 Okay, here we go. All right. It's going to give oranges, fruit, and some shattered glass. Okay. Cool. Um, where are my oranges? You know what? I'm going to stay on the orange idea and type in fruit and see if I get a better result. So fruit brushes... Fritz fruit brushes by Pressity. I don't know, whatever. Free download. Four, three, two, one. I feel like I need to go over this extract thing again because it won't work unless you extract the file. So click on this, hit extract all, and then extract. And then double click this. A, go to the brush tool, B, second drop down, yay, awesome. Oranges, hey, they've got oranges. Boom, <laughs> looks like a moon. Or a circle. Why did I do that in the same layer? That wasn't smart. Control Z, undo. Make a new layer. Brush two, might as well knock out these requirements. Bang. All right. Yeah, you're hungry. A pear and an orange. All right. And that's Brush Easy. That got easier. I had a, I have a whole bunch of video tutorials on Brush Easy, but they change the procedures all the time, so I have to update them. Saving. You guys know how to save. First name, PS review. Make sure it's a PSD if you're not finished. You're turning in a PSD and a JPEG. You're turning in two things for this. Gosh, I really need to go over this cloning texture thing. 
the artistic filter you can find on a tutorial just look go to a YouTube and find a tutorial for how to do an artistic filter I do need to do the cloning thing okay I promise this is the last thing before before this video is finished so uh, all right somebody give me the name of a texture to look up smooth I like smooth texture, but it might just be something, I want something we can see more. Ms. Beachy. Texture. Crumbles? What? Bubbles? Sure. She said bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. B-U-B-B-L-E-S, boom, bang. Images. Everybody likes bubbles. Tools. Size large. Do you know what? When you use the clone stamp tool, I wouldn't go too large. You know what? You might even want to go medium when you do the clone stamp. Ooh, water bubbles. Oh, bubbles are so much fun. I'm an adult and I still like them. That's too small. That's just right. Save image as. Open it in Photoshop. Make a new layer first and call it clone so that you get your points. I'm going to clone inside of clone inside of a shape. You don't have to. You can clone anywhere, but I'm going to clone it inside of another custom shape. Inside of a boat, the submarine is getting cloned over, man. Cool. So if I want to clone inside of this submarine, well, first I better open up a picture I want to clone from. There, set that over there. I've got this one here. Got my clone stamp. I'm going to select just the submarine. Um, hover my cursor over here. You know what? I could use the wand, or I could just hover my cursor in this box and control click, and it's actually selected now. S for the clone stamp. S, and that takes you to make sure it's the clone, not the pattern. It usually uses a brush like this. You can clone at less than 100% opacity. You can play around with any of these options up here. I'm just going to leave it at 100% opacity clone. And I'm going to go here. Now, to get these pixels, brush, right bracket key, left bracket key. Right bracket key makes it bigger, left bracket key. Alt, the Alt key, and click. And then go over here. Oh, okay. All right, that's fine. And paint it. And you see how it's like making a line like that? And the reason why it's cutting it off is because this is a small file. So just go over here and alt click again. Alt click. And do it as many times as you have to. Cool. And I'm finished with that. I don't need to save that and deselect. And this is that's clone stuff. What did I just do? Ah, there. There it is. You know what? I am going to knock out yet another requirement. Blend. What blending mode am I on now? Three. Blend. Three. I'm going to even put a layer style on it. Why? Because I can. Yeah. That's nice. If you have any more questions about Photoshop Review, anything on Photoshop Review, either email me or ask me in class. 
This assignment is not for students who are virtual only. The students at home are not using Photoshop. They're using Adobe Draw and Adobe Mix.